Welcome to Thoughts Roundup. Uh, when you get my age, you begin to go back and think of things in the past. But I'll have to say that there are some things that I thought of at 30, 40, 50, 60, on and on and on. There's some things I've never been able to forget. Some things I'm not trying to forget. I've told you so much about building, my wife and I going to Dallas, Texas, building a church. We, we got there and we finally got a church building and uh, we had to have, after we got the church built, we had to have blacktop or paved parking. And uh, Brother J.T. Pugh loaned us $7,000, which was paid back mostly by the month. And we built a parking lot. There was a lot of uh, good things happened. We not only built an auditorium, but we built an educational building adjoining to the auditorium. And a lot of people helped with that. Brother Charles Glass from up in Sherman, he sent his men, his men were very industrious and very much into helping and he sent them down and they put the whole roof on themselves, no charge. They put all the air conditioned duct work in with no charge. And, uh, people were so, they were so good to us. Ermin Davidson did so much. He was a friend of ours, later was secretary of the Texas district. Many, many people lend a hand. Well, we needed uh, the, the church, the property next door came open. Dr. Fox, a Baptist minister, he was an elder in, in, the, in their church. Dr. Fox lived next door and uh, he was always nice and we were nice, but we were not close friends or anything. Never got the chance to know them up close. Well, the property, his property, he decided to sell his property. And we asked him or either he contacted us, I don't remember for sure. Give it, we had first chance at it. We'd sign papers. And we had to come up with $10,000 down on the property within a month when we signed the papers. Well, folks, I don't know if you can even imagine what $10,000 was back in the 60s. It's a lot of money. But we had to have the property because we had outgrown uh, we needed Sunday school space, and that was we had not built the uh, educational building yet, and so we needed that property to use it for educational building. We had had put up two or three little portable like buildings for Sunday school. And Boat art blocks under them, and but we needed we needed something more substantial, and so this property came open. And their house we could use their house for dining area for the church outings and so forth. 
if we could just get it. We, we, I borrowed. I gave everything. I gave more than I could give. Everyone had done what they could. Different ones. Charles Glass and his church had given us good sound offering. Well, to make the story come to the conclusion, it was Sunday night and Monday morning we had to meet Dr. Fox and he had assured us if we didn't have it, he wouldn't be able to go with us any further. He wasn't mean about it. He was just, that was the way it was. And I was $250 short. When I walked into church Sunday night, I was $250 short with nowhere to turn. And I just didn't know what to do. Maybe at my age now, I'd know more about what to do, but I didn't know what to do then. And I didn't hit people up and say, I, I don't know. And especially after they'd given, I didn't ask them to give. Probably stupid on my part. But anyway, $250 short. And I knew that when church is over, I would go to bed and wake up the next morning and lose the property. I knew that. So when I walked in church, somebody said, Brother Marty, you've got a call. I went to the phone and it was a secretary of the church in Fort Worth. And he said, Brother Marler, I just got a call from Brother Mark Hanby. That was their pastor. He's preaching down at Jackson, Mississippi from, for Brother Kraft tonight. But I just got a call and he said that he felt impressed to give you your church, $250. And he said, for me to meet, you are one of your men. I believe it was Howard Johnson's, it was halfway on the Fort Worth Turnpike. And I believe it was the Howard Johnson's at the time. I'm not sure. And I'll have a check for 200 Fifty dollars. I had it. I had it. I can still feel it. I had it. Now, Brother Mark Hanby, we were at the time in the same fellowship. We are not anymore. But you know what? When anything is said negative about Mark Hanby, it's hard for me to join in. Even though I may differ, it's hard for me to join in. Because I can see him going to the telephone just before he goes to preach for Brother Craft in Jackson, Mississippi, making a call that he didn't have to make and telling his secretary, I feel impressed that somebody that you have to carry, meet someone on the freeway, turn the turnpike, and give him the 200. And that property was used in such a great way. It was the amount of property that was needed after I, after I was no longer there. It was needed 
to be able to build the size church that uh, was needed to be built. Well, we just can't forget what God and other people have done for us. Jesus is good all the time. God bless you.